Hey guys, it's day nine. I almost lost track. Um, day nine of my 21 day challenge. It's a full, not a full, sorry, no. It's an upper body workout. So I kind of let the day get away from me a little bit. I had um, a lot of stuff going on. It's, it's like super dark, as you can tell. I'm pretty exhausted, honestly, and it just kind of got away from me and I didn't get to film a new upper body workout for you guys for tomorrow. Um, which is actually today that you're watching this. So what we're gonna do is we are going to do the same upper body workout that we did last week, which is okay because by now it's probably old news anyways. It'll still be kind of fresh and kind of new. And then um, on Wednesday when we're doing another full body workout, it'll be a new workout. I'll have time and I'll make sure that I get that one done but it just had a lot of stuff going on and it's been a really, really busy day and I just got really behind and wasn't able to film one for you guys. So hopefully the upper body workout from last week works. Um, so yeah, that's really all I have to say. I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. It's late, I'm tired, um, and I really just like to lay down. So I don't really have much else to say. So let's get to the workout. Sorry that it's the same one as last week, but it'll still do its job and you'll still feel the burn. So we'll just get to it and then I will see you guys on Wednesday for a brand new full body workout. So have fun. Okay, so in my first video, I forgot to upload the fact that warming up is very important. Um, I do warm up before every exercise. I try and do like 15 to 30 seconds of like jogging in place and these are called tap backs and then some jumping jacks and things of that nature but just to get your heart rate up and going um, you've got to get your muscles warm and get your body ready to work out before you do so. Um, so I'm going to take a second to explain today's workout. It's an upper body workout and we're going to be doing supersets. We're going to be doing four supersets. Each superset has two exercises. So you complete each superset three times before you move on to the next one. So our first superset consists of alternating shoulder presses and wide and narrow push-ups. So you're going to do 10 alterna alternating excuse me, shoulder presses, which is what I'm doing right now. Um, you want to keep the dumbbells from touching your shoulders and you want to make sure that you're just reaching straight up above your head for those. Um, and you wanna stay tight in your core while you're doing that. Um, once you have finished your 10 alternating shoulder press presses, wow, um, you move into your five wide slash five narrow push-ups. So right now I'm doing a narrow push-up on my knees. You can modify on your knees or on your feet, whatever works best for you, as long as you get full range of motion. And then I am going back to my feet for my wide grip push-ups, and I am again doing five wide push-ups as well. Once you've completed your first superset three times through, you move on to the next one. The first exercise in the second superset is something called a dip. Um, you can do this on the edge of a stool or a couch or a chair, whatever. Um, you just want to make sure that your arm hits a 90 degree angle on the way down. Um, the next exercise in this superset is a hammer curl. It's a bicep curl, but with the dumbbells. Um, I don't really know how to describe this, but your dumbbells look like how they look like in the video instead of a normal bicep curl. Um, so you are going to do 10 of those hammer curls, and then um, you're gonna repeat that superset three times through before the next one. Yeah, silly me, I set my dumbbells down only to have to grab them again and then started dancing like, uh, I, don't, I don't even know what. Um, so your next super set, this is the first exercise of that and it is called, well I called it an around the world, I really don't know what it's actually called. Um, but basically you want to, your palms are going to be facing forward. You are going to start at your waistline with the dumbbells and you are just going to bring them all the way up over the top of your head. Um, you want to keep a slight bend in your elbows throughout this exercise, but not too much. I kind of got sloppy toward the end of that. Your next exercise in this superset is an inverted push-up. So basically you're in a downward dog for anyone who's ever done any type of yoga and you're just doing a push up, but kind of upside down. It looks a little bit funny, but they actually hurt really badly and work really well. Once you've completed that superset three times through, you move on to the next one. And this is actually your last one. 
So this exercise right here is called a plank up down and you're gonna do six of those. Um, so you can either do them on your feet like this or you can do them on your knees like this. But all you're doing is making sure that you keep your core tight and you're going down on your elbows and then you're coming back up one at a time in a plank position. And you just wanna make sure that you stay tight throughout that whole move, no matter whether you're on your knees or your feet. Your last exercise for this superset and actually for this entire workout is an alternating bicep curl. You're gonna do 10 of these. Um, so this is similar to your hammer curl, but as you can tell, your dumbbells are turned outward instead of whatever way they were turned before for the hammer curl. I don't know how to describe that. Um, but you're just gonna do 10 alternating of these, so you'll end up doing 20 total, but you wanna make sure that you hit 10 on each arm. Um, and then once you've completed this superset three times through, that's it for your workout, and you've kicked ass today.